Well today I'm just going to give you a quick overview of the uh, 4x6 U controller with the new optional uh, touchscreen display um, and it's controlling a um, multi-view 4 and it's using um, the four inputs of the multi-view 4 um, so that when you're doing your CCU control you can have four cameras which conveniently is exactly the same number of cameras we have here um, and you can see all four cameras um, on the quad split and of course this um, gives you um, uh, Ultra HD output so you can actually feed it into a um, Ultra HD monitor and get your four images up here in full 1920 um, HD uh, quality. Um, I currently am just running it into a, a, a standard 1920 monitor, a HDMI monitor, but um, you can, um, yeah, as I say, put it into the Ultra HD and you can also um, uh, put it into a, um, a waveform vector uh, like I've got here for instance um, just put this into say um, parade so you can also run it into um, into um, a, a waveform vector scope for your technical monitoring and yeah that's enough of that um, so um, if you're familiar with this product um, it's a um, controls four cameras as, as I've said as iris black level and it's got um, every other uh, control capability going through different menu items and that. Um, and just um, on, um, I'll be doing lots of videos on the on the display. And this is a touchscreen display, so you can actually use your um, your finger to touch on different things. Um, it's only a 2.4 inch, I think it is. So there's a credit card. That's a, a credit card, and you can see it's actually a normal credit card. So you can see it's. Um, quite small, but it's quite uh, quite usable. Uh, I can read the um, read the text in, with my old eyes, so even though I've got to wear reading glasses when I get close up to it. And um, it will actually show you um, um, all the functions. So if you if you're doing um, irises and blacks, and you can see the irises and black levels are are showing up. Um, it also will show you the um, um, if you're running, let's put that down. If you're just running a um, uh, using the normal CCU control over here, you can see over here it's showing you the that's the iris. You can see the blacks going up and down. It, uh, it also has the I'm, I'm going to do all this in another video. I'll just quickly show you here. It also has um, I'm using a pen just to keep my fingers out of the picture, but um, if we just go and click on all, say. Just there. That actually gives you a quick overview of everything, so you can see uh, we've got the four cameras. Oop, there you go, four cameras. There are your, um, your reds, so your, your gains, gammas, and blacks, and the red, green, blues, and uh, luminous versions of each of those. And each one will show you your um, your gain dB, your um, shutter, Kelvin. And then your um, other um, sub items like your um, contrast, uh, what does that say? Saturation, there you go, and hue, and um, and the y, YUV. Um, and, and of course, as, um, as I'm controlling this, you can see the little gauges will be going up and down. There's the blacks going up and down. And I'll just do the, the um, so that's the blacks. There's the iris going up and down. I'm actually doing both, as you can see. And of course, it'll show you all four cameras here. This is camera two going up and down. Um, and of course, if I um, just switch the gains through, you see that the gains going up, and then there's the degrees Kelvin. Anyhow, that screen's just designed to give you a quick overview of um, all four cameras in, at the one at the one go. I'm just going to go back to normal view and um, just touch the top here. You can just use your finger as well. Just, just get back to normal view. This also has um, the ability to put. See if you have a look at the top of the picture there, at the top of the screen. It all shows shows you the tally lights. So it tells you what cameras on air. 
and tells you preview lights as well. Uh, um, anyway, as I said, I'll cover all that in another video. Um, that's, those tallies are also um, visible in the all mode. So there's the tallies over the left there, so as I'm turning the, the tallies on and off, so that's all that. Um, so I just, um, for the purpose of this video, funny enough, is to show you the interface to the um, Multiview 4. Now the way I've got this set up at the moment is that um, as you, um, I've got this in toggle mode, uh, which is a setting I'll show you in a moment. Um, and what um, what you do is if you push down to preview camera one or camera two, I mean these cameras are allocated as well, um, you'll see as I'm selecting each one, it switches the monitor over to what they call solo mode. Did I say silo? Solo, solo mode. So you can you can hold, press and hold and look at each camera. Um, so there's the four cameras. And then when you take your finger off, it goes back to the quad. Now, none of these sources are locked to each other. They're all just off-air feeds. If you've got four cameras that are locked, you won't get any black flashing at all. It'll just switch, clean switch between each camera. Uh, but even so, even with these unlocked, it, the recovery time has impressed me quite a bit. Um, but I've been told uh, that you can also use um, a little black magic box that actually allows the HDMI to resync al almost instantaneously. So you won't get that, um, that flash um, anywhere near as bad as what it is. So, um, so that's basically using the, using the CCU controller in, um, in toggle mode. Um, and again, if you have a look at the, um, this is the control panel for the multi-viewer. You can see every time I push a button down, it switches over to solo and then changes the source accordingly. So if you have a look up here, you'll see the solo source will change um, as, I, um, as I change the, um, the uh, RS uh, select button. Now, um, when I mentioned uh, this was in toggle mode, we also have the ability to switch this over to, I'm just going to try and see if I can look out the top of the screen here. It's going to go into setup mode here. And I'm just going to go over to button mode. And in button mode, this is where we can change the, each of the four buttons to have their own individual function. So I just want to change this over to um, latch mode. Um, and so that's the first That's the first of the four CCU positions. So that's that one. But I'm going to change them all over to... Um, to um, to latch, so I'll just if I just click on the middle one here, it just takes the the, the selection from above. So now they're all in um, latch mode, and if we just come out of that, just go, come back to um, normal operation. Uh, now, as I hit the button, um, you'll see it will. Oh, hang on, focus first. It will select a source and it'll keep it there it won't switch it back to the to the, the four-way quad uh, there's the second button there's the third button there's the fourth button and um, looks like my fourth source is gone but it's still there it's just um the off air has dropped out um and um so that's that's where you have the option of being able to you, you, know, you do your ccu monitoring using the two different modes um, what, uh, I'm just going to switch that back again because I need to show you uh, the setup of the uh, multi-view. So we're just going to go into here, just go back over to here, change these over to um, focus, toggle, change, 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 come back out, and come back out. Um, oh, incidentally, in the, um, just in that setup, you see this system. In here, this is where you can change all the internal settings. Uh, well, I'll talk all about that when I do the overview on the um, the touchscreen. And um, so now we've gone back to um, toggle mode. Just confirm that with you, just by coming out here, trying to multitask. So we just go, and you see after after I release, it goes back to the quad split. Now you probably um, notice that up here we have audio displayed for each of the source we have border we have um, the name uh, of each source up there and um, another one is that there's ability to be able to have a tally you can see around here there's a red tally 
Um, so they're all settings that, that are available on the um, um, control panel for the um, Multiview 4, but you can also access them using um, using the uh, 4x6 U controller. And there's two ways you can do that. You can um, use the reset, the sorry, the reset, the advanced button on the side here. So if you push and hold that button in uh, for four seconds, you'll see all the LEDs will uh, change, and then each of these knobs will will um, give you um, different functions. And we want the uh, multi multi view for adjust, which is, is this knob here. Don't know why this phone is not focusing, but I'll do it manually. And um, so if I hit that there, <clears throat> we now go into the multi-view uh, adjustments. And here you can see, um, I, by turning the um, pedestal knob, we'll change what adjustment we want to make. So these are all the different adjustments. Um, and, um, and in each adjustment, we can then turn the iris knob to select what we want. Um, th this this same adjustments also um, if you don't ha have the optional touchscreen <clears throat> the, le the lead colors change depending on what mode you're adjusting um, and also if you have a, um, uh, a terminal screen open the, the text on the terminal screen will tell you where you are as well so uh, but the easiest is, is using this little um, touchscreen here and in this mode where we're doing the adjustments on the actual a CCU controller. Um, this is only just displaying. It's, you, it's nothing, there's nothing here you can do to change anything. I'll show you how to do that differently, separately. But you see here now uh, we've got the output of the MultiView 4 um, set to um, 2160, <clears throat> and subsequently, if that was a Ultra HD monitor, we'd have four 1080 images in um, in each one of those four corners. So I can um, focus. I can just by turning the iris knob while we while we've got um, the output selected, I can then change the setting. Um, there's four available settings. So <clears throat> as I turn the knob one at a time, you can go through each of the four settings. So it starts off at 1080 i 50, then it goes to um, 20. Uh, what's that? 59. 0.94 and it goes up to 2165 you see that the, the same as I'm changing here it's changing up there as well and um, you can um, and every time you change it actually does a reboot the, the actual multi view does a, a, a reboot so every time I change it to a different format you'll see it takes about five seconds to um, to reboot and um, sync back up again um, the um, just just as a matter of interest, I um, I did some experimenting. I'll talk about that some other time. Using a um, this is called a Terranex AV. And it's got the ability to um, to give you four 1080 outputs of a of a, each corner. So if I feed this at 2160 into the Terranex AV, and then bring it back out again on the on the the four individual four corners you can actually get four 1080 um, images so you can actually record four 1080 images on one record on, on one recording if you're using um, a 2160 um, recorder but um, more than that at another time if you if you're interested in that give me an email send me an email um, anyhow, I just peeled off. So, um, as I was talking about the um, the control, so I can actually change um, the say the audio output. So here um, you can select which audio you want to hear on the um, multi view. So you can see here I'm um, changing the um, mode. You can hear the audio change. And, um, and incidentally, these labels that you see up here are the actual labels that are set in here. So you can see um, up in here somewhere. Yeah, here you can actually change the label name, so you can call them what you want. 
I've actually got the, the four inputs of this fed from um, a video hub. Um, uh, and also, as you change here, say if I change that to say that, um, you'll see that the the screen up here, I'll just change it again on, on the computer. You see as I change it, it, it will show you exactly what, what the device is doing regardless of who's controlling it. So, um, so that's basically um, it. I can just, let's just go down to say the border, oh, border, and now I can turn it clockwise and turn it on. Here's the knob, and um, anti-clockwise will turn it off. So I can just turn it on and turn it off just by doing that. We just go and select the uh, um, labels again, turn it on, turn it off. Um, and you can see up here as I turn them on, turn them off. There you go, labels on, labels off. And we can do the same with the VUs. Uh, just turn that down to the next one. And there you go, VUs off, VUs on. There it is up there, VUs on, VUs off. Um, so that's, that's um, using the uh, advance button on the side here. Um, we can come out of that by um, just holding the button. Now, the other way you can do it is actually by using using it in touchscreen mode, which um, again, I'll just show you, you can use your finger. There's, there's, the buttons are big enough to be able to use your finger. So here I am, I'm just going to go over to the um, multi-view uh, mode here. And this is exactly the same screen you just saw, but now all the touchscreen stuff is enabled. So as you can see here, um, I can just touch, turn these things on and off. Um, you see there. Now on, on up here, you can, um, if you touch the, um, the right side, it actually steps up. If you touch the left side, you get the pen out of the way, it steps down. And the same for the audio steps down, steps up, and um, you put that back to where it was, there you go. Um, so, um, and, and again, as, you, as you're turning these things on and off, they're automatically updating up here. So you can see I'm just turning these things on and off. Um, and then when, of course, when I want to come out of um, this mode and go back to normal, I just um, touch the top there up there and then we can come back to um, to normal now in the next video um, I'm going to do the same thing but I'm just going to show you um, basically the interface with um, a smart scope so there's a smart scope and oh, there's a smart scope up there um, so you'll um, uh, I'll show you all it's exactly the same thing how you can control the smart scope from um, from the control panel, sorry, from the touchscreen, um, the 4x6 issue controller, um, and you can also do it from the terminal screen. But um, on that note, we shall um, leave. I just um, oh, you can also do video hub. I'll show you. I'll show you um, the video hub um, one in another video again. I won't show you on this one. And um, so um, enjoy and. Um, very shortly, as I said, there will be another video coming up.